Hey what's going on guys this is Sayyad Musa Kalim from Epicop and today I'm going to show you how you can create providers in Ionic 3 so before we get started uh, I would like to give a quick uh, introduction of providers and how you can use providers where you can and how it is helpful for you while developing your Ionic app provider means it just provides you the services if you need any operation if you need any particular operation in your app then you could use providers so we'll see uh, one simple uh, example of it uh, in our Ionic application and how you can use this I'll show you in the later part of this video first let me create a simple method called load contacts right in this method I'm gonna load I'm gonna give a list of contacts that we can use on our template home.html so we are doing this without uh, without we are do, do, we are doing this without using any provider i'll show you how you can use providers for doing this operation in the later part of this video first we'll do without providers right so let's create contacts array here of type any sorry I need to give right so this is our array contacts array and we can use this inside our array inside this array inside this method so we'll give title as uh, anything you can give like right uh, let me give one contact number here we'll give it as 786 uh, let's give let's copy this object paste it here one more time one more time right so this is our simple array contacts array in which we have given title and contact as two objects right so let's change this to some other name like Noor uh, you can give this and you can give this name Danish right so we, we have given four titles here let's change the number to one two three four five six seven eight and let's change this to 9102 right so let's save this and we'll see how we can use this inside the home.html file so let's create one ion list let's remove this part here inside this ion list I'm gonna use ion item oh sorry so I'm gonna use one structural directive as you know that uh, we have to loop here so definitely we need to use structural directive let contact of contacts contacts uh, now we'll use the binding part here contact dot title let's copy this and let's paste it here contact dot contact as you can see here we have created one simple method load contacts and which and we have also created one array in which we have given two objects title and contact this thing these two things we are loading here in our template using structural directive in g4 and let's save this and let's run in our browser to see the preview of this application and 
you can use this in your providers as well I'll show you how you can do this using provider so after seeing the preview of this application we can uh, go ahead and we can see about providers and services so I'm not going to use any service or I'm not calling any service from uh, using a CTP module because it's just a simple example of providers you can explore more about providers on documentation of angular or ionic so I would suggest you to visit the documentation let's see the preview of our application first it is running now and it might take some time to load my laptop is a bit slow right uh, so this is just a simple example you know I have created uh, right it is running now and webpack started so you can generate your provider your custom provider using one command called ionic G provider and your provider name G stands for generate so I'll use that command in the in the next step of the video and I'll show you how you can how you can generate provider it is almost done and now it will start rendering on Ionic Labs copy finish as you can see here on git bash CLI yeah our local host is ready now our application is running angular.io is the beautiful documentation you know you need to visit if you are a beginner uh, as you can see here my I have I have selected only one platform that is Android it is not loading you oh I, I, I did a simple mistake here I have created that method but I did not use uh, one method called ion view did load whenever our view is ready this method will get called first we need to save this so that it will render all things inside load contacts method so we need to save this I was showing you the documentation part of angular you can visit this documentation to know more about providers components and more about angular right you, you can see here in the modules, TDP client, routing, navigation. Uh, there are a bunch of tutorials or, as well of Angular. It is taking much time. Uh, it might take some time. And I really appreciate your patience. it is taking time right our ready our application is ready yeah you can see here we can see the title and the phone number uh, in the list form which we have given in home.html file in this file so let's just create a provider for doing same operation let's stop this and let's create ionic G provider uh, contacts right let's hit enter now so it will generate a new provider for us inside our project uh, we can see a separate folder for providers in our uh, solution explorer right after uh, 
use after generating provider we need to give we need to import that provider inside app.module.ts file because it's a root module of your application of your ionic application yeah it is generated now and we can see providers right inside providers we have contacts so as we are not dealing with uh, a server part as uh, we are not calling anything from server so we do not need a HTTP um, module so we need to get rid of this right so let's remove this comment part as well let's remove this parameter from constructor save this and let's open app.module.ts and there we can import our from providers slash contacts uh, it is not showing uh, we need to open this file yeah contacts provider you know in ionic 3 we need to give this but in ionic 2 yeah it is already present you know we need yeah we have imported our uh, contacts provider inside app.module.ts file let's save this and let's copy this method which is load contacts method and let's head the contact.ts file let's copy this here and let's copy this contacts array let's give it here above constructor and we need to import provider inside home.html home.ts file as well as we are using it to load the provider you know provider slash contacts it is not showing uh, I think we need to use it is not showing we need to use provider right so we can use this provider inside home.ts file oh all right uh, actually I need to give this same statement inside this so that we can use yeah you can see here we need to uh, enter two direct enter into two directories and after entering we can use providers contacts and also contacts so using this method we can import our contacts provider inside home.st or home.ts file and also we need to create an instance using this method using this way public contacts service of type contacts provider so we can use this and you can use this here right so we have imported our provider inside home.ts file and also we have created in uh, we have created an instance we have passed uh, a parameter in constructor and we can uh, use this inside ion view did load right so after doing this all things we need to save this we need to save this let's head to home.html file and let's make some changes 
right because it did not uh, it might not load on the screen because we have changed the way as we are using provider here so we need to use this contact service dot contacts right let contact of contact service which is our uh, instance of provider dot contacts means this array so let's save these all files and let's run this application yeah as you can notice here we are doing this using provider but earlier we did not use any provider to do that operation to perform that operation so let's see how we can uh, use provider uh, how we can uh, perform this operation using this provider so our application is running now and it is still running because webpack has been started now so it might take some time to load on the screen yeah copy finish now our local host server will start right uh, now we will see the list of contacts which we have created inside an array in provider yeah you can see here we can see a list of contacts which we have given in our provider so this is the simple way of using provider in your application and you can perform any operation because providers provide uh, a service to you so you can use that service inside your ionic app so hope you understand about providers in ionic 3 uh, because i have just shown you the simple example how you, of how you can use providers Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.